It's like 18, you got a new life, what if I wasn't ready? Been a whole year, no more lectures, cause I think you get it. Been aware of what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Shannon Bethany here on YouTube and today I wanted to create this makeup look for you I had played with this Juvia's Place palette before but the video I put up with that one just wasn't to my quality standards with what I wanted it to be so I kind of took that one down so if you've seen it before don't get confused I have used this before it is only the second time the first video I posted I was like oh my gosh it's my first time trying a Juvia's Place palette but this was my second time trying a Juvia's Place palette and yes it's still just as good especially for the price point and the size of these pans. These pans are absolutely huge. I'll show you in comparison next to this palette right here because I have it open. This is the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and this is the Juvia's Place Palette. I mean rarely do I ever even go through a shadow, I'll be honest, in like a regular eyeshadow palette. But usually if I do it's like a lid setting shade. Today I kind of want to play with some of the different colors in the palette so I had a lot of fun with that. And my dog is barking because probably the mailman outside. Hopefully not someone random. So it was just another dog walking by. So if he starts barking again, I apologize. But anyway, if you enjoy this video and you like it, definitely subscribe. I would love to see you here again. Let's be friends. Leave me a comment down below. Let's chat. Let's talk about makeup. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about everything. I don't even care. I just really, you know, love chatting with you guys down below. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this makeup look, um then please keep watching. All right, so as you can tell, I already did my face. I did my foundation, my powder, my concealer, my bronzer, my blush, my highlight. I did everything already. I've done that in like a million and one videos already. So I kind of didn't want it to be too repetitive and I don't really have anything new besides this little foundation right here that I've been using. It's the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Foundation. I use this because I have sensitive skin, so I've been testing it out and my skin is also very oily. So it's been working out really well for me. So we're gonna start off with the eyes. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape as a lid primer. I didn't put anything on my eyelids. I did do my brows already as well. This concealer is really good for priming the eyes too because it's super full coverage. This concealer is really nice too because you can grab a little precise brush like this and use the concealer to clean up your eyebrows as well and make them nice and sharp and just snatched if you feel me and then I'm just going to be setting that with a powder today so I have my RCMA no color powder in this ugly little container right here just because the packaging that it came in was so difficult to work with and I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush this one's from Lancome and put some powder on that and dust that all over my lids where I'd set that concealer down And then just a little trick that I saw online, I either saw it done by Makeup by Ariel or Makeup by Mario. It was like a clip from one of their master classes and they said that they do this um, on some celebrities. So take a little bit of your translucent powder and lightly, lightly, lightly dust it through your brows after you know filling them in and setting them with your gel and just lightly dust it through. And what that does is soften up the brows a little bit just so they're not so harsh and dark and look like fully drawn on. I used this palette in another tutorial, but I actually ended up taking that tutorial down because I didn't like the, the lighting in that video. It was very dark. I don't think I did well with my eyeshadow. I actually think it looked pretty horrible. So I thought I would create a different look with this palette. These are the shades. I'm sorry, this is the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette. It's really pretty. I really wanna play with this shade right here. So I might be doing like a cut crease with that kind of look or even this shade right here is beautiful. So I'm gonna take a few seconds off camera to brainstorm and I will be right back. Okay, so I swatched those two shades on the back of my hand. Here they are. They're both really pretty. Obviously this one's a lot lighter. It's like a, um, I'm really bad at explaining colors. It's like a seafoam green, but it also has some gold reflect in there. And then this color is really beautiful. So I think I have a look in mind that I'm going to do. The only problem with this palette is that these mattes, and I did explain this in my other video, but I took it down. So here I am again, explain the same thing. These mattes are a little bit dark. So the only thing we're going to do first is going to, I'm going to take a different shade just as a transition color. Honestly, you could use your bronzer because I know you guys don't have all these palettes in front of you that I'm going to use, but any kind of light neutral brown you can buff that in your crease that you will find a color like that pretty much in every palette I'm actually going to go in a burnt orange this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette they have that shade in a ton of their palettes this just happens to be the soft glam palette and I'm going to buff that right I have an itch who else itches their like itches 
<laughs> I guess you could say, like this when they makeup on because they don't want to like dig their nail into it and mess up their foundation. So I kind of looked up some videos on some tips and tricks and how to make your shadow blend a little bit more and just like even if you're doing a simple look, just kind of making it look better just by taking your time. And one of the tips I learned was that really try to hold your eyeshadow brush, especially blending ones. Obviously, we we're trying to get more of like a buffed out, seamless look. Hold the brush at the very tip and let the brush do the work. So just move it really gently across your lid. If you need to keep dipping back in and picking up more color, then do so because the color will build. But it just kind of helps you have like a little bit more control. And if, you know, you're messing up or something's happening, it's not like you're putting a big glob of shadow on your lid and then trying to blend that out. All right, now we're gonna hop into this palette. So I'm gonna start off by taking the shade Taza and put that right under that first shade we just put down and more directly in my crease. These shadows are extremely pigmented and personally, I think that makes them a little bit hard to work with. I don't know, I feel like there's a fine line between being not pigmented and too pigmented for a shadow. I think for a lid shade, being super pigmented is obviously very important, but for like a crease blending shade and someone that's still trying to learn and perfect eyeshadow, it can be a little bit intimidating. I'm gonna dunk my brush into the shade Fez, so it's this really deep brown right here and put that very directly into my crease. <laughs> I think I might also drag that on the outer corner as well. So I'm going to grab a pencil brush and dip into that Fez color again and just kind of place it more directly right, right directly in the outer corner. All right, now I'm going to go with that beautiful teal kind of shade and grab it on a flat shader brush. My favorite flat shader brush to use is the MAC 240. Two, yeah, 242. Okay, so I started putting that shade down and then I realized that I wanted to cut my crease, so I'm sorry about that. Now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, draw a little bit on my lid, and then the tip that I like to do is kind of like look up so you see where you, well, I put it eyes, so actually that didn't work. And then I'm gonna take a flat shade. Do you see this? Well, that tip and trick didn't work for me because my eyes are so hooded but I'm just going to take this flat shader brush right here. This one is from Morphe, it's the M421 brush, and cut my crease. I'm not doing a full cut crease, I'm just kind of doing a half, and then we'll blend it together right here on the outer corner. All right, now I'm gonna spray, again, my MAC 242. All right, so for some reason I stopped doing this eye along the way, so I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna finish up this eye and then we'll come back and we'll do some liner and some lashes and yeah, I will see you in a minute. What I think I'm gonna do next is take the black, this black shade, you can pick up any good black shade that you have. This is Noir by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna push that along my upper lash line and kind of drag it out a little bit and make a little bit of a smoky wing and then go in with my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and kind of clean up and just do a little thin line of this within that black shadow. The mailman came. It's difficult being here at this time. So much going on. All right, now I'm going to go pop on some lashes, if I can find them. So these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm gonna put some of my Duo Lash Glow in the back of my hand and run my lash through it and then kind of set it aside and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do um, to kind of clean up the shadow while our foundation is already on. Take an end of your makeup sponge and dip it in your translucent powder and just tap it right at the edge of your eyeshadow where you wanna kinda of clean it up and then I kinda of bring it down a little bit and then obviously do the same thing on the other side. And it kind of very softly erases all of that extra shadow. It is kind of like a baking technique so I am gonna leave it there a little bit until I get my lashes on.
So while my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go in and finish up my lower lash line. I wish I had like a blue gel liner because I'm gonna dust this dark blue shade on my lower lash line, but unfortunately I do not. So I'm gonna have to use a black. I'm gonna go in again with this Marc Jacobs gel liner. This is my favorite. I use it in every video and I'm obsessed with it because it's really good. It's really dark. It stays on the waterline, which is so important. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. I hope there's a cheaper alternative out there. I've tried the NYX Treasure Lee. And that one just didn't stick. Like, it just didn't work well for me. I guess everyone has different eyes. Um, but I think someone recommended it. Uh, and it just didn't work for me. I'm going to use some of that black shadow that I've left on this brush. And just kind of buff that liner out a little bit before you put the blue down. Now I'm going to dip that flat shader brush into the blue. And run it along my lower lash line. Alright, and then lastly I'm going to grab this little brush here to do a fiber for the eyes and blend away that powder like that just cleaned everything up and made it look so nice and seamless and I just really like that little technique I would put this in my inner corner and on my brow bone but last time I did that it came out really yellow so I think it's like a yellow shade and I wasn't expecting that I thought it was kind of going to be this white bright highlighty shade but it was yellow and I just I feel like we have enough colors going on on the eyes I'm probably going to use my highlighter that I used um, this is the ColourPop Loose Powder in Nomi. I'm going to just quickly add some mascara. So for my lips today, I'm going to go in with a classic. This is my absolute favorite lipstick in the world. It's MAC Peach Stock. It's the most perfect nude for my skin tone. Mine's almost out. I've literally bought like five of these in my life. My lips are so dry, it actually isn't laying nicely on top of my lips right now. But luckily, luckily, we have a gloss. So I think this color will tie in perfectly with my eye look today. It's really pretty. It's the new Desi XKD Dose of Colors lip gloss. Definitely has pink and purple glitter in there, which if that's not kind of your thing, I would stay away. Glitter and glosses really isn't my thing. I really like a sheen to my gloss and to have it look have it look natural. But I saw this one on Desi and Katie's uh, video of their collection. I think Katie put it on. I fell in love. That concludes this makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what videos you would like to see next from me. I am thinking about doing, I have a, I have a few ideas in mind, but I'm not entirely sure. I maybe might attempt my first like Halloween makeup look this season, but I don't know if I can promise that because I don't really think I'm good at special effects makeup. Thank you so, so much for watching. It really means the world to me and I will see you here again next time. Bye.